All right, now keep in mind the Attorney General did testify uh, at the Senate. It's the House Judiciary Committee now that is in a, a, a ruckus here. Uh, it might hold him in contempt, if not worse, simply because he refused to testify to them. Uh, the Fox Nation's Liberty File host, Edward Napolitano, on what he makes of this. They're arguing that he should have, and w what are they going to do? They're probably going to subpoena Bob Mueller, and then he'd be under the burden either to comply or to go to a federal judge and have the subpoena quashed. Now, he is an employee of the Justice Department, so his boss, Bill Barr, could, who already said you can go, could change his mind because his boss, the president, has changed his mind. But they're uh, mad at everybody. Correct. You know, Barr and Mueller, if he doesn't, right? The Bob Mueller can negate all of this by resigning from the DOJ and say, my job is over. Then he's a private citizen and nobody can stop him and he but can walk in. But does the president have the power to say, you shall not testify? To a, a government employee? Bob Mueller. Yes. He does not have that power to a private person. There is no privilege. The, por the report is 99% uh, public. The author of the report um, has helped make it public. He certainly lawfully can testify about it. All right. So I thought the president was open. Uh, I have nothing to hide. Anyone can talk. Let's do this. You know, that was the attitude of the president when he first learned of the four-page summary of conclusions right. that Attorney General Barr released, and that was the attitude of the president when the report first came out. When the president's people, like the rest of us, examined the rest of the report, he flipped 180 degrees and was back to being critical of Mueller and the investigation and the people that participated in it. Then he said, I have nothing to hide. Then he said as recently as just last night, um, I don't want him to go. So I, I don't know how that plays out. I don't know if I don't want him to go is going to be translated in, I order him not to go, or if it's just the president's opinion at the moment. All right, so if Mueller were to testify, and there's this difference of opinion, as you've enlightened me, between uh, Bill Barr and, and, and Mueller's people, you know, what constitutes a pass on obstruction of justice. Right. I get the sense from Mueller's people it's not a total exoneration. Maybe the president doesn't want that brought up or the back and forth on this and give it more shelf life. I would think that if Mueller testifies, you know, it'll be the biggest audience since the final of Dallas and who shot JR. And there'll be you a, and I are the only right, ones. Right, and right. Be, right. And there'll be a lot of right. uh, a lot of uh, back and forth. Uh, Republicans basically saying, why didn't you investigate how this whole thing started? A legitimate question. Right. And uh, Democrats saying, isn't this obstruction of justice? Isn't this obstruction of justice? Isn't this obstruction of justice? And that latter Q&A is probably what the president doesn't want. Uh, what if the president was assured, we'll talk to Mueller, um, but we'll talk to him behind closed doors? I doubt that uh, Congressman Nadler, who's the chair of the House right. Judiciary Committee, would go along with that. If he did, that would not serve the Democrats' stated purpose of transparency. And then you'd have a Republican version of what went on behind closed doors and a Democratic version of what went on uh, behind right. closed doors. You know. And we'd all wait for the transcript to come out and we might never see it. Um, impeachable offenses, uh, the, uh, every Democrat you talk to says, well, they're clear impeachable offenses. When I try to corner them exactly, what are they? Uh, they? They go back to obstruction, how he tried to thwart uh, justice from being served. Uh, could I get an update on your thoughts on that? Asking uh, people who work for you to lie for f to federal investigators, which is what Richard Nixon was accused of doing and Bill Clinton was accused of doing, has traditionally been characterized as a species of other high crimes or misdemeanors. The president says that didn't happen. But, right, right, right. Bob Mueller says it did, so right. it would be a... Back and forth. He said, he said. Uh, but it would be a basis for the House um, Judiciary Committee to begin investigations if they want. Stated differently, obstruction of justice has been found by either the Congress or the House Judiciary Committee consistently to be a lawful constitutional basis for impeachment. All right, this is more political. But impeachment is a political question, not a, not a legal which is one. Which my, my next question. I mean, I just don't see the appetite for that Boy, sort of I, thing in I, this world. I could not agree with you more. And you know who agrees with us of all people? Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. Without a broad, bipartisan, national consensus behind impeachment, as there was for Nixon, I don't think there was for Clinton, it just doesn't succeed. And it explodes on the people who instigate and foment it. All right, Judge, thank you very, very much. Good You're seeing welcome. you again. In the meantime here, we are following the markets. Much more interesting.